Greetings viewers. What you have here is a Dell Octoplex GX150. Oh yeah, this is one of the ones that has a flip up thingy. Alright. Um, this was a free item. I got it from FreeCycle, if I recall correctly. I have never powered it on. <clears throat> In fact, here's the power cord now. Let's see if anything goes bang. Uh, some lights flicker. Oh, this has a zip drive as well as a uh, floppy. Sorry, I, I've never actually looked at this. So I have everything connected. And if this is your first time watching a video on my channel, I am in my camper. Right over there is my generator running. So, and also right there is a little heater. So if you hear some background noise, that's what it is. Uh, actually, I need to go turn something off behind the camera. So I'll be right back. And thanks to the Miracle Video Editing, that was about 35 seconds for me and not for you. So let's turn this on and see what happens. I have a Dell oh, <clears throat> Valid, I know it's a Pentium 3 and I know it has a, a uh, Windows 98 COD on the top of it. And I don't think this keyboard works. This keyboard does not work. I'm glad I have a backup, even though it's a very ugly one. Turns out, I don't have as many PS2 keyboards <coughs> with an access as I thought I did. So hopefully this bad boy works. And, uh, so yeah, let's try her, try her again. This time it does say enter and set up. So we know it's on bias revision A02. This one has the, uh, yeah, so let's see what's going on here. I don't know if that's from the, that's gotta be from the computer. So it's a 933 megahertz uh, Pentium 3. That's actually pretty nice. Zip floppy support. I don't know why that's all. What kind of... So it's a 20 gigabyte hard drive. I don't know. Well, let me see if I can uh, get you guys a little better. So it's a 20 gigabyte hard drive. And it's got a CD-ROM reader. Let's just see what uh, let's just see what happens when we uh, try to go. So we have Windows 98 distributed by Dell. So it does have Windows 98 on it. But assuming second edition, I don't know what is going on down here. Where white people are texting me. Hard drive light is still flashing. I don't know if that's the monitor, I don't know if it's the video cable, or if it's the computer, so it's not locked up, so we'll give it a minute. Alright, so it is still going, and we will try to log in normally, I don't... See, like, the monitor was a free one, or well, actually, no, it was part of a, that big computer haul I got. So I don't know what it's, if it's good. <laughs> I have a ton of these there. If I need to, I can grab another, or I could just grab another computer and check it out. But let's see what happens when we get into Windows. I, I didn't even check to see how much my ra ugh, RAM was in it. I need, I want to move my heater, because I don't like where it's at. But, uh, I, don't know if, I don't know if the cord will reach dirt. Yeah, back when this thing was built, they didn't really consider a lot of electrical uh, loads, per se. Uh. All 
Uh, the generator did not sound very happy. <laughs> Unless that's the computer I'm hearing. Uh, yeah, I don't know. Oh, yeah, you definitely can't see the. Uh, see the keyboard. Maybe I should uh, repeatedly smash F8 while I'm loaded and see what happens. Wait, it is F8, right? F8 or F7? Okay, there we go. Whatever reason, when I, uh, when I tried to start it earlier, it was trying to go into command prompt only mode. Which was a little weird to me. And, uh, yeah, as it starts to load, it does that weird thing on the bottom of the screen. I think what we're about to do in a minute is this video will probably be pretty short and we'll, uh, we'll pop the cover and take a look at. Oh, this is one of those clamshell ones. Ugh. I hate these computers. I remember when my uh, college, when I was in college, we had a whole bunch of these as well as the little ones. And they were all uh, 1 gigahertz Pentium 3s or 1.1 or 1.3 gigahertz. I don't remember the exact. But yeah, they were, uh, they were all over the school. I have, see the thing is, is I want to see what's on the hard drive. I have a Windows XP disc with me. Ah, oh, crap, I didn't get those CDs. I have, I have the ability to make a Windows uh, 98 CD with me. So, yeah, it's got to be in the operating system, because now it just went back to being clear. Now the heater is too close. <laughs> it says it's 44 degrees down on the floor. <laughs> and now you can see the side of my head. I'm sorry. Oh, you know, I could plug it in over there. But, uh... All right, so we're going to uh, just, I'm going to pause the video for now and see what we're going to do, because this is taking forever. All right, so I gave it about five minutes or so. I sat there, ticked around on Facebook for a little bit, and I, it's not doing a darn thing. So, unfortunately, that's where the software side of things is going to end. I have not opened one of these clamshell Dells in a very long time. <laughs> I think I got it the right way because the feet on the bottom. So, oh, this, uh, I might need some of y'all to explain some of this to me. Alright, let's uh, get you. Alright, so, let's see how much RAM is on this stick. It only has one stick of RAM, which it doesn't matter because this isn't a dual channel or anything. This is a 128 megabyte. But this is a little weird. Oh, poop. And I just broke it. <laughs> or I broke the uh, slot. This is... Oh, I never... Do such a thing existed. This is a four megabyte AGP like RAM extension for 
your memory. And holy crap, I'm getting dust everywhere. Yeah, I went to, uh... Just moved a little clip aside on the HEP slot and it... And it broke. But I'm going to keep the, the memory stick out because that may be necessary for another computer I'm about to look at in a little bit today. But, uh... It's got a modem in it. It has this typical Dell of the era cooler on it. Holy cow, that thing is packed full of crap. And I don't I don't think there's really anything necessarily wrong with the computer, but uh, the hard drive might be toast. So we're gonna leave that alone for now. And this will be a short video, I guess. So I'm just going to go ahead here and say thank you for watching. Have a blessed day. And don't forget to like, comment, comment and subscribe. And as always, have a blessed day. This is a gem. Uh, this computer here, I have actually kind of teased about in the vlog that I filmed the day Madame Roy came up.